Tschüss. It took me a while, okay? It took me a while. It's the 15th of January and I'm only just turning my vlog camera on and I'm only just opening up my diary <laughs> two weeks into the year. But I just started the year feeling really lost and flat and I thought to myself, I'm just going to sit in this feeling. I'm just going to allow myself to sit in it, work my way through it and then trust that I will begin to pull myself out of it at some point. Because at the start of the year, I felt quite overwhelmed by... The fact that I hadn't really set out resolutions, I hadn't, I didn't have an in and outs list, which is what I kept saying online. I didn't have all these goals. I just didn't feel like I'd prepared in the way that I was seeing everyone else prepare. Um, and then all of a sudden, just felt so overwhelmed, and I was like, Do you know what? No, I need to ignore that and just work my way through what I'm feeling without any kind of like external pressures. I. And I quickly realised actually that that is, that is more beneficial for me rather than 1st of Jan, you know, like resolutions, this, 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 like that for me is not a process that I benefit from. I know it works really well for many people, but for me, it kind of adds this sense of pressure and I feel like I'm setting myself up to fail when I do that. And now that I'm coming out of this kind of very weird sort of loss, I just felt like I was floating around for like two weeks, not really knowing what I was doing, what I was feeling. I had like zero motivation whatsoever um and now that I'm coming out of it I'm like oh okay that's just my that's just my process that's how the start of the year looks for me and that is completely fine um can we all just take a moment to appreciate how much the bob is bobbing today like I'm finally there it's like my hair and me are in sync it was like I woke up this morning and my hair was like it's it's showtime and I was like, do you know what? Yeah, it's time to turn the vlog on. Um, it's time to turn the camera on. It's time to open up my diary. It's, it is it is time. And whilst I'm not fully there, I'm definitely feeling way more motivated than I have done over the past two weeks. Um, I'm back to a paper diary as well. Last year, I was off paper diary. I don't know why. I think I was like, oh, I can just rely on my phone and use the calendar and the notes on there. But I definitely miss having a paper element to write in. I did bullet journal for about a year and a half, um, but I stopped because I felt like it wasn't really serving me anymore. It wasn't something I was benefiting from. I did it during a time where it really helped me. Um, and then I stopped and I don't intend to kind of journal in that way again, but I wanted a physical diary again to write in. So I got a page a day diary. So I've, I've got the room to journal if I want to. Um, but I've, it, mostly at the moment, it's just like lots of to-do lists and kind of like putting in things that are happening over the next couple of weeks. Um, so that feels nice because it's um, a good way to just get away from the, your phone, isn't it? Sat writing in your diary. So yeah, I don't know what this month, um, sorry, not this month. I don't know what this week's vlog will bring. I'm getting back into the swing of doing like just tiny little annoying house jobs. Hopefully soon in the next few weeks, I will be able to share some fun plans for this year uh, in relation to the house. Yeah, I just hope everyone else has kind of had an all right start to the year. I I found a lot of solace actually in speaking to other people who were feeling the same. And if you are still feeling like that, then that's fine. Like I am fully anticipating that I'm gonna have days in the coming weeks where I go back into that kind of like very flat loss feeling again. And that's fine. Um, just do not beat yourself up if you have not got loads of resolutions or anything like that. I've actually only given myself three or four and they're really like simple. Like the first one is, um, Dean and I just want to get a bit better at kind of varying our cooking. Last year when we were kind of deep in renovating and house stuff, we'd spend all of our free time doing house stuff right up until like the evening and then we'd just be like okay let's just get a takeaway or let's just get something really quick and easy and as a result like we were getting deliveries way too much um we were just eating anything that was convenient and we really kind of just lost any sort of like motivation to actually cook nice meals so that's something that we want to get back into in this year i touched on this in the most recent vlog wasn't it i really want to buy a piece of art this year i think i want to commission someone 
is the vlog point? Uh, yeah, it's pointing in my direction. I really want to commission um, a painting to sit above the sofa. Um, and then, what was this? I mean, I'm doing great. I can't even remember them. Oh, the third one was just to um, get back into uh, running. I, I, like, I'm craving it. I'm really craving that feeling I get when I'm running. And I went on two runs last week. I'm going to try two again this week. Um, it's meant to be quite dry this week, which is great because I love running in like a, on a really crisp day. It's like my favourite type of weather to run in. Yeah, those were the three. And I feel like that is fine because they don't feel hugely strict. They're things that I can just kind of like work on throughout the year. Um, the food one's nice because it's something that both Dean and I can work towards. Same with the art. That's something as well. Um, yeah, I and and that's it. And I don't think I'm going to put myself... I mean, I always say to myself every year, I need to drink more water, but who doesn't do that, you know? House update number one. Apologies that it is now getting kind of dark, so... It's, yeah, it's not the best light to show this in, but um, yeah, this is probably the most fun update, the mirror. So some of you might remember pre-Christmas, this is where the Christmas tree lived. And I spoke about how I didn't know what we were going to do with the space once the Christmas tree had gone. Well, um, decided upon this little shelf to act as some log storage, um, which looks very cute. Side note, the hearth is getting quite messy because I didn't seal it properly so it needs to be repainted because the paint started chipping away and then I need to actually seal it properly so that it's protected and easier to clean because at the moment it's virtually impossible to clean because the hearth is very porous so that was a, a lesson learnt. Anyway back to the, the fun stuff. So then after the shelf was put in had this you know big blank space Naturally, we were like, right, let's put a picture there. And then thought, hmm, hold on a minute. There's going to be pictures in quite a few other areas of this room. Do we want another picture here? And then came up with the idea of the mirror in the hopes that it would actually bounce some light around. It's not really being illustrated that well right now because the sun is kind of over there. But because this side of the room is north facing and that side south facing, this gets most of the light. So we were hoping that as the sun comes through here, it will kind of bounce off the mirror and kind of just reflect a bit more into this section of the room. And it did work this morning, actually. It looked really nice. So I'll try and show you that on another sunny morning. Um, but this was just a uh, custom made mirror at a local glass manufacturer, same place that we did the bathroom mirror at. Um, nothing fancy, just square with some screw holes. And then this will just be a space that can just house books, flowers, might try um, that Noguchi there, you know, it just, I just need to have a bit of a play around. I think I'm not putting too much pressure on styling things perfectly. I'm just sort of like placing things, leaving them there for a bit, seeing how I feel about them, and then maybe changing them if I don't like them. Poor tulips, bless them. They're really not loving it there. <laughs> what else can I show you? Obviously the most important update, the Nintendo Switch. So far I did show pre-Christmas, didn't I? A, a little bit. Um, added two more cushions to it. These are also sofa.com in the exact same fabric. I now want to dress it a bit more with different colours and textures um, because this feels very kind of plain and quite blank and I'm hoping that by dressing the sofa it will detract from this big blank wall that is yet to be filled so I'd quite like a bolster cushion I think something a nice coloured bolster cushion maybe a really textural throw I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to get to the point where we have to like remove stuff from the sofa to actually sit on it but I just want to kind of I guess just make it look a bit more interesting a bit more bit more texture a bit more colour um undecided what this whole area will eventually look like you know in terms of side tables and lights etc so at the moment it's kind of just like a, a mish, mishmash of stuff found this little stool on vinteria yeah vinteria and then this was um a find i found this on a secondhand furniture website which i will link it's great to get ingo morilla off the floor whether that will stay there, I'm not sure, but it does fill that space quite nicely. And then um, in the dining space, 
which because it's so dark doesn't look that great right now. Um, maybe I should actually just turn this light on. That'll be better. This was a Black Friday purchase, which is dimmable. Oh, it's not, <laughs> it's not switched on the wall. Yeah, so it's dimmable, which is great. So you can create some nice ambiance with it, but that arrived before Christmas and fits in that corner very nicely. And that I think is it. Still waiting on the pad for this. Hopefully that'll be in the next couple of weeks. We were thinking once we change the size of the TV, once we downsize and have a proper TV unit there, not this bench, this whole corner will open up a lot more and there'll be a nice amount of room to have like a, a window bench, no, nothing built in or anything like that, just like an actual piece of furniture that can be moved around, that can sit there nicely, like a padded window seat I think would look lovely. So that's it for the lounge. Obviously the quest for the, the ottoman is still ongoing, but I'm not putting a huge amount of pressure on it. I feel like it will just, the right ottoman will just reveal itself to me when it is ready. House update number two. We now have a console table in the hallway. The hallway hasn't, doesn't really get a lot of airtime because there's not really much to show in here. We've added some pictures into the hallway and now we have this beautiful console table. So this is from an Australian brand called Warn Store. I pre-ordered it in September. Uh, a lot of the pieces that they have they do on a pre-order system and it arrived uh, just before Christmas and I can hand on heart say it was 100% worth the wait. It's such a beautiful piece. This whole oh, thing needs sorting out. The, this Unfortunately this is the only place that the internet box can go because that's where it plugs in. Anyway, if we ignore that, this whole top half is lovely. Got this um, this is a vintage lamp that I got a couple of years ago. La Labo candle shell, bowl of just keys and tap. And I think we will probably put a mirror, a circular mirror above here to kind of like mimic the circle of the console table. Elsewhere in the hallway, there's really nothing to show. The light gets nice in here when the sun comes around the front of the house in the evening. And also in the summer, we get a lot more light in this area. This bit above the door, I think, has potential to do something cool. But then there was the idea of maybe putting a curtain across the back of the door. Not 100% sure yet. Um, but yeah, could put some nice things up there, maybe. Moving into the upstairs hallway, we have a picture up, which is quite momentous for me because Dean is, he's the type of person who will just put stuff up straight away and just kind of like plonk things anywhere, whereas it can take me sometimes six months to a year to figure out where I want things to go and I need to kind of get out of that. I mean, it's fine taking my time, but there is, I need to draw the line somewhere. Um, and we kind of always knew that this corner of the hallway was deserving of a picture, but was, weren't sure. we weren't sure which one. Um, so we popped this one here for now, because I guess the beauty of it is if you can move them, it is annoying if you then have to fill in holes, obviously. But Dean is always saying to me, it's fine, Like if we, if we want to move it, we can move it. So this is a poster from when we went to um, his studio and house. And the pop of yellow think works quite nice in this space especially with the plant and the dark wood and went for a silver frame because at the moment so many things we have are in oak frames and I want to add more variation to the, the frames that we have basically otherwise it all starts to look a little bit too uniform when absolutely everything is the same wood um, and the same style of frame and I also just felt like the yellow was they didn't need a wooden frame I actually felt like that would kind of detract from the print itself so very pleased with that still have the vase here oh that's a bit bright there we go um and yeah no changes and then last but by no means least is this new shelving system in the bedroom from Farmer. we knew we wanted some shelves here and for ages we wanted the this shelving system but in the silver stainless steel. And then once we got the curtains in and everything started to feel quite like cream in here, we changed our minds and felt like the dark oak would be um, a better 
colour, like a more sort of like grounding piece to have in here versus the silver stainless steel. I think this comes in oak, ash, silver stainless steel and then a warm white stainless steel. And I think we've made the right choice here with the dark oak. It's such a beautiful shelving system. Um, not sure entirely what to do on here. I've kind of put a few pieces on here, obviously, as you can see. But I think I'd quite like, I don't know, maybe like a vase with some flowers. I'm not sure. But for the time being, this, this works quite nicely. Um, similarly to what I said downstairs, I think just everything is in like a bit of a state of flux as I kind of like test out dressing things um but it's nice to have this because previously you know all the walls were blank just had tilco which is kind of looking a bit sad at the moment so this it's it's nice to have this kind of dressed slightly homely looking element in the room um because things are still quite sparse like we don't have a lampshade in here and we don't have a headboard or anything behind the bed so yeah there's Lots to be done still in this room, um, but this is a very nice new addition, a nice new focal point. Oh, I nearly forgot outside. Not a massive amount to update on because there have been delays with um, the cladding. That's been delayed. The doors have been delayed. Uh, the window, the, basically everything has been delayed. And then the flooring that we were going to use, um, that has been delayed. Just literally every element has been delayed. And then the roof only just got done literally like two days ago that got delayed as well over christmas basically nothing happened for about four or five weeks with the studio but fingers crossed next month when the cladding comes and like the, yeah I, we're kind of coming out of the the christmas lull of like just waiting for orders to arrive and tradespeople catching up with their work and stuff so um yeah i'm we're hopeful that february will be a more productive month with the studio so not a hell of a lot to show you out there but it's, it's looking like an actual building now whereas i don't think it did last time i showed you you can kind of envision it a bit more now new vlogging angle unlocked now that i've got the shelves in the bedroom i've got a new perspective to vlog from um, which when you vlog is it's pretty exciting stuff when you find a new place to prop up your camera <laughs> um, it means I can stand here and get ready and chat I think this week's going to be quite a busy week because um, I'm off to Copenhagen a week today I'll be there for five days feeling quite unprepared especially in terms of the weather because at the moment it's like minus 12 and snowing so I need to do an audit of my thermals I, I'm definitely missing some thermal leggings um, potentially a thermal turtleneck as well, and thermal socks if that's a thing. Ideally just a full thermal like bodysuit would be great but that would, I mean imagine trying to go to the toilet with that thing on. Um, so yeah do a bit of a thermal audit and just kind of try and think about how I'm going to dress for that weather because I'm going in a fashion week capacity so there's that element of it of like oh you know, outfits, but also I need to be warm <laughs> at the end of the day. I um, I, I can't wait to go back to Copenhagen. You know how much I love that city. And since going last summer, the list of restaurants and cafes I want to try has just grown and grown and grown. So in between fashion stuff, I'm going to try and do as much non-fashion exploration as possible. Um, I mean, the the re the food is probably my fav one of my favourite things about the city. Um, just so many good restaurants. I don't usually do the January Fashion Week because of the weather, but I quite fancied like a little, I don't know, something just kind of came over me and I was like, do you know what? I quite fancy a little wintry trip to Copenhagen. But talk to me again this time next week when I'm looking at the weather forecast and I'll probably be thinking, why did I do this? Why did I sign up for this? Um, I don't really do fashion week at all, any other fashion weeks, because there's, um, I mean, there's no need for me to be there, you know, like there's no relevance in me doing a fashion week. Um, I don't get invited to them. <laughs> um, I only get invited to Copenhagen because I work with a lot of Danish brands and have a lot of connections there. So I get invited to quite a few shows, which is very nice. 
Um, so I always use Fashion Week as an opportunity to just kind of catch up with a lot of work people, a lot of friends. Um, I get to just catch up with my agent. Like it's just, it's a good opportunity to just see a lot of people in one go. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? I also do not have the mental stability to, to be in a Fashion Week environment regularly. I've, I've tried it. And it's not for me. But with Copenhagen, because like I said, I try and do as much non-Fashion Week related stuff in between shows. That kind of keeps me feeling quite good. I don't get in my head about things. I don't worry too much about what I'm wearing. You know, I just, I feel quite happy when I do that. It's all about balance. Anyway, <laughs> ugh. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, True Detective. Has anyone else started the new season of True Detective. I mean, there's only been one episode so far. Um, second one comes out today. I cannot wait. I am feeling very good about this season. It inspired us to rewatch The Thing over the weekend, actually, because obviously it's um, it's it, there's a lot of that kind of vibe to it, isn't there? And then I was thinking. It made me think about other TV shows that I've loved and that I'm hoping will return soon. We must be due a second season of Severance soon, surely, because the cliffhanger that they left that on was, I mean, possibly one of the best cliffhangers ever, but also absolute torture. Um, it's like they literally just cut it in the middle of a, 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 a scene. Um, and I feel like we've waited long enough. I'm very eager for the second season of that. Um, I actually don't think I need to do anything with my hair today. Very very pleased with how everything's how it's all settling now just maybe like a little bit of cream just to sort of tame the the top section the sort of frizz the halo of frizz apart from that i think i will um i'll leave that i'm really getting back into um ebay there's lots of good stuff to be found on ebay if you're prepared to do the digging i recently found this george jensen brooch that was designed by Nana Ditzel. I'm not sure when it was made. I know it's not um, in production anymore. I want to use it uh, on scarves because scarves bug the hell out of me. So this will be a practical way to keep a scarf in place that also looks nice. It's kind of like a very minimal paired back, almost like oyster shape. I've also found some very good books on there recently. If you're prepared to just sit and do the digging, um, there's some great things to be found. I found books on there for like a third of the price that a lot of other book resellers are selling them. Like lots of just like good art and design books. Um, yeah, I also think this could look quite nice on collars, on coats as well as a decoration almost. And I was thinking when I wear blazers, more as like an evening thing, this could be quite a nice thing to put, um, to almost like fasten a blazer with as well. I just tested out the brooch on my jumper, thinking it wouldn't really look that good. I actually think it looks quite cute. Um, a nice way to adorn the jumper without wearing a necklace. Perhaps if I was in a mood where I just didn't want to have something around my neck, the but wanted something, the brooch is the solution. I see a bright future for the brooch. Many, many styling possibilities. Okay, in my continued exploration of interesting headwear, and you know, how to make just accessorizing the the main kind of exciting part of an outfit. I'm gonna revisit the balaclava. Now, I have an aversion to balaclavas, not because of the way they look, I actually really like the way they look, it's more of a sensory dislike. I don't like the way they feel. Um, they just get a bit irritating, I have to say. Um, but it's so windy <laughs> that this feels like the most practical option today in order to just keep my entire head warm and to just keep my hair out of my face because I don't really want to tie it up. Um, so yes, also I was, I was thinking like the, when I tried a balaclava um, the first time round, I had a lot more hair. It was a lot longer, you know? And that made it feel even more irritating because there was just like so much hair and I didn't really know what to do with my hair. Uh, but now it's shorter, it's not as irritating, it's still not the most comfortable thing. But I feel like because it is shorter, bits will fall out and it won't look, I won't look so much like an egg, whereas when my hair was long, 
I just sort of had it all tucked in and I was just sort of like, didn't really know how to, what to do with my hair. But now, hopefully as I wear it, naturally just bits will, and it won't look so egg-like. This is, I'm, I mean, you're not gonna be seeing me in a balaclava regularly, that's for sure, but when the time calls for it, which it truly does right now. Second storm of the week, I think. This one's called Jocelyn. <laughs> Instantly, as soon as I heard it was called Storm Jocelyn, I just thought of Moira in Schitt's Creek. Also, put my um, put my brooch on my coat because when life equals coat, have fun with headwear and decorate your coat. Just adorn it with pins and things, just to make things feel a bit more exciting. Got this great practical jacket, but I still insist on running with wired headphones, and it's not. I should probably just get myself some good like wireless but like hook over the ear headphones but I don't know I'm really attached to wire headphones even though they're really impractical at times like this um feeling extremely like so much safer um going out in a full whoop, a full neon and reflective jacket especially at this time of year with the days being shorter it's quite hard to get out there um in the day so I do find myself sort of I don't go out in like the pitch black but it's just that sort of like dusk bit isn't it where it just starts to get a bit dull right really what am I doing I've really made a there we go right okay I'm off okay I'm starting the, the packing process for Copenhagen um, it's hard to explain, I've just been taking some hats on and off, hence the, um, the quite frizzy hair. It's hard to explain to someone who hasn't been in the Fashion Week environment uh, the anxiety that arises when preparing for it and packing for it. Um, because I think naturally when it's Fashion Week there's this kind of like feeling of wanting to push my style a bit, you know, have a bit more fun with it because I'm, I'm in this fashion week environment but there is a fine line between you know having a bit more fun with my style and pushing it to a place that actually makes me feel uncomfortable so I'm, I'm always trying to to balance myself between that those two because um, I have put myself in situations where I've worn things that aren't usually what I would wear but I'm like oh it's fashion week and then I feel really uncomfortable in them but I think there is a way where I can have a bit more fun with my usual style and still feel like me and I'm going to attempt to do that next week with a lot of accessories because when I really think about next week and especially thinking about the weather so much of what I wear is just going to be a coat and a scarf or a hat so Realistically, I can actually keep the clothing pretty simple and just have more fun with my hats, my scarves, my belts, my jewellery, gloves, um, bags, shoes, that kind of thing. And maybe think about the... Because the amount of outfit that's actually going to be on show underneath is, you know, virtually zero. So just think about, I guess, like cuffs that will be on show and like um, collars and things like that. Um, and then that way, I feel like I don't... I probably won't end up packing... A huge amount of clothing it will just be lots of accessories that's the plan I really hope it works I'm trying not to get too in my head about things trying not to think about kind of like you know like very sort of like trendy like trying not to think about what will stand out because that's I mean that's the last thing I really want to do within a fashion week environment but there is always going to be this pull to like wear something that feels like super, I don't know, viral and now and trendy. But it's like, no, just focus on what I like, what I feel good in and just play with that and all should be OK. Right. Let's pack and commence. Thank you. 
I've completely lost the light, so I had to stop filming. So you're gonna to have to wait until the Copenhagen vlog to see the remainder of the outfit. That wasn't as anxiety inducing as I thought it was gonna be. That was quite smooth. I'm, I'm suspicious as to why that wasn't so as anxiety inducing as it normally is. Maybe it's just because I did the whole like accessories method and just dressing to just feel like myself. Okay, now feels like a good time to sign off the vlog because I quite urgently need to just tidy all of the mess around me and behind me and get my suitcase zipped up um, and obviously get this up as well for you before I head off to Copenhagen. So I hope you enjoyed the first vlog of 2024. It did feel um, like a bit of a sort of like showy one, like look at this, look at this, look what I got. But because I've not vlogged in over a month and within that time frame, lots of things that I've ordered over the last few months kind of all arrived at once and then we got the pictures, the mirror, the shelf, there's been, you know, these little changes. So to kind of bunch them all together in this vlog felt like a lot, but many of you had said that you were looking forward to seeing um, all of the new house bits in the vlog. So I thought I'd just put it all together so you can enjoy them all. Um, and also hope you enjoyed the chaotic Copenhagen packing. I'm feeling pretty confident about it now, actually. I've kind of got like five outfits I feel really comfortable in like me in and a couple of evening things as well um so the next vlog will be in a couple of weeks that will be copenhagen so until then i hope you're all doing really well uh just give yourself a round of applause for surviving january because it is a tough month um and i'll see you all in february